Ships are one of the most important means of transportation in the logistics industry. They cross the terrible waters of the ocean and deliver tons of cargo to their destination. They are equipped with modern navigation and GPS devices in order not to get lost in thousands of kilometers while doing this job. So how did the captains of the ships find their way in the absence of modern navigation and GPS systems? In the past, when there was no compass, ship captains used to find their way by looking at the stars. Everyone knows this sentence. So how do you find direction by looking at the stars? Can we find our way by looking at the stars? The pole star will come in handy to find our way. The direction we look at the pole star is north. The north star is located at 90 degrees above the Earth. So this star stays in place without moving as the Earth rotates. In order to better understand this movement, we can look at the dome of Hagia Sophia. You see, the vertex remains constant while the surrounding objects move. So how do we know that the star we are looking at is the pole star? Contrary to popular belief, the pole star is not the brightest star in the night sky. The brightest star in the sky is Sirius. To find the pole star, we will refer to the Ursa Major constellation. The tail of the Ursa Major constellation looks like a coffee pot. Let's assume that the two stars of the coffee pot are one unit. Now let's extend this unit by five more units. Here is the pole star, also known as Polaris. Ship captains find the north direction by looking at this star. Right side is east, left side is west, back side is south. In addition, the angle value between the ship and the pole star is equal to the latitude they are located. For example, if the angle of their location with the pole star is 34 degrees, it means that they are above the 34th latitude. So how do they find the meridian? They used local time learned from the sun to find the meridian line. For this, they needed three things. The moment when the sun was at its highest, any city whose map coordinates are known, and the local time of that city whose coordinates are known at the time of observation on the ship. Thanks to the hourglasses and water clocks that the guards constantly check, the captains calculated the local time of the reference city. This is how the calculation is done. Let's take Istanbul as an example. The coordinate of Istanbul is 28 degrees east meridian. The captain knows this beforehand. The sun reaches its highest point in the sky at exactly 12 o'clock local time everywhere. Imagine that at that very moment on the ship. Imagine that the local time in Istanbul on the ship shows 1300 hours at that moment. The difference between the two hours is exactly 60 minutes. The time difference between two meridians is four minutes. Dividing 60 minutes by four, you get 15 meridian results. The distance of the ship from Istanbul is 15 meridian. Now let's subtract 15 from 28. The answer is 13. As a result, the ship is at 13 degrees east meridian. Latitude is 34 degrees latitude, which they calculated from the North Star before. The captain can now proudly address his crew. We are now on the 45th latitude and the 13th meridian. It's almost time for Tunisia. The crew on the ship admire the captain who tells his position by looking at the sun and stars. It should be noted that only people in the northern hemisphere can see the pole star. People in the southern hemisphere use different techniques to find their way around. If you are watching this video from the northern hemisphere, you can start looking at the sky to find the northern star on a clear night.